What's up guys, Biddy here, and today I have a brand new video. This time I am going to be talking about a Pokemon that I recently just threw on my team that I actually really enjoy. I'm sure you can kind of tell from the thumbnail, but uh, pretty much I am a player that enjoys having a team that strays away from the norm. I'm not really into like running a hard trick room team or just like having a team of just straight up like the top like 15 most used Pokemon in some way. I like having, I mean granted you can make them creative in some ways, but I like straying away from that part of the norm. Uh, that's why I like having my core that I had now with uh, Swagger on Grimmsnarl and either Own Tempo Mudsdale or Lumberry Durant having that will um, choice between those two, which both of them aren't conventional ways of running those uh, Pokemon. But I thought to myself, like, Duran, like, I really didn't um, have too much use with in the last um, uh, mid-season showdown. And I was thinking to myself, and I'm like, is there there's a way I can use Lumberry on an attacking Pokemon, but be better? Because granted, like, while it is good with uh, Durant, don't get me wrong, um, especially because he has Hustle and whatnot when you Dynamax it, and I'm like, there's gotta be a way I can even make use of it if it's not Dynamax and whatnot. And I was like, maybe it's not Durant, maybe it's a different Pokemon. But And I, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to use a Pokemon that really isn't used much and see if I can make them work. So I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, and I'm like, wait a minute, a, a useful ability when it comes to using an item is unburdened and I was like if I swagger a Pokemon and cures it with the Lumberry he can get double speed because of unburden and I'm like hmm I wonder who I like, would make good use of that and then I look at the ability and I see this Pokemon that I just threw on my team which is Hibmonlee yeah so right now I run a, actually let me pull it up here sorry <laughs> I actually run Hitmonlee with 252 HP, 252 attack, adamant nature, 4 in special defense, as well as, um, yeah, has Lumberry, Unburden, and the moves Fake Out, Close Combat, Throat Chop, and Stone Edge. Very interesting uh, set. Um, the main reason for, like, a couple things you'll notice is one, why don't you have any speed EVs? Now, I don't necessarily, like, want to, like, worry about speed too much, um, especially because, uh, shout outs to my boy Ajax, Ajax underscore HQ, he pointed out to me that, hey, if you have no speed EVs and you proc the Unburden, it is faster than max, uh, than speed benefit in nature draggable, and I'm like, yo, that's pretty lit. So, that's why I was like, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> so yeah, this, that's why I have this set on him. Uh, Fake Out, I really didn't use it much outside of this upcoming match that you're going to see. Um, I, it pretty, is, pretty much is the only time I've used it because they started with a Grimmsnarl and another Pokemon, spoiler alert. And I was like, you know what? Hitmonlee base speed is faster than Grimmsnarl. And I'm sure this Grimmsnarl is not going to have speed EVs invested. So I can fake out that Grimmsnarl and then have my Grimmsnarl fake out whoever else. Um, so that is kind of useful. Uh, yeah, I have close combat, throat chop to, you know, cover ghost types like Dragon Hole. And then uh, Stone Edge because it's actually could be useful to not only for like to take care of flying types, but it will also get rid of let's say rain or sun that can be is like could be out in the field to speed up pokemon like ludicolo and venusaur so having that check in there is also really good uh so yeah i put the 252 uh evs in hp just you know to like make it make it a bit bulky really didn't care enough to put it in defense and special defense uh, could, I could like play around with it in the future maybe like throw some in defense instead since its defense really isn't that good um, but it's really meant to like pretty much be a, a sweeper um, <laughs> Just to, like go in be faster than like all the Pokemon like the main things that I check out for is if they have like a Whimsicott um, If they have like T-Tar, Excadrill, that, that could be one to like check out for and just stuff like that But you know a lot against a lot of like basic teams. It's like pretty good and also I believe it's like 80% chance if I don't Dynamax Hitmonlee, 
and if it's G Max Lapras with like a bold nature and a decent amount of defense EVs, it has an 80% chance of one shotting with close combat after a swagger boost. So that is also very useful because I can stuff it out, not only waste their Dynamax, but they won't be able to get Aurora Veil up. Uh, so just stuff like that, pretty damn useful. I really enjoy <laughs> how this Pokemon has um, been on my team so far. I've been playing it a lot on Showdown and just like recently like got it on my team and my console and have a match. It's not really like the best match I would say, but you know it shows off like the premise of what I go for. Uh, the main thing I would change with him only on my team is possibly having a, a different support for instead of Togekiss and Gastrodon, maybe one that can benefit off of like getting an attack boost. Because like really the only one that would is like Incineroar, and more often than not, I've been having Gastrodon as my other bag instead of Incineroar. Um, so maybe like replacing like Gastrodon with another Pokemon in the future could be a thing. But for now, I still like it's more just like still a trial stage for him. Uh, but I really like him on it, and you know what? I'm actually just gonna quit with the talking and hop right into the match where you can check him out being used. Alright, so here are our teams going into the match. Uh, this is on the Master Ball tier ladder. And the main things I'm looking out for right now are what is going to outspeed him on me when Unburden is activated. And the main one that sticks out is Prankster moves from Grimmsnarl. But I am confident that he's not going to like just try to cripple him on Lee right away. And I'm definitely going to go for him first just to make sure he's taken care of. Uh, and the main reason I also have him on Lee with fake out is to, so I don't have to worry about speed ties. I can have him on Lee fake out Grimmsnarl, which because um, him on Lee outspeeds unless Grimmsnarl has speed EVs, which most of them don't. At least not many. But yeah, the Himali will fake out the Grimstar, and then my Grimstar will fake out whatever their opponent is, so I won't have to worry about my Grimstar getting faked out. Because him activating the Swagger is very important. So starting those two is definitely looks like the play. Having Togekiss in the back is also good. You can take care of Dragapult and Umbreon if need be. And then Gastrodon as the uh, fourth looks very good because he handles both Excadrill and and toxicity pretty well so i'm actually feeling pretty confident going into the match i don't see any uh like t-tar excadrill or torkoal venusaur teams or or whimsicott those are like the main things to look out for or like just a fast fake out mod so yeah it's looking good and uh yeah let's hop into the match all right so here we are going into the match of forla nice nice card you got there <laughs> But yeah, so I'm confident that he's leading with Grimmsnarl as well as, you know, someone else. Not sure who, because it definitely could have been either Toxtricity, Excadrill, or Gyarados. It's Excadrill, which I'm like, I right, cool. Double fake out, definitely gonna come out turn one. Uh, him on me will fake out the Grimmsnarl. And my Grimmsnarl will fake out his Excadrill. Because I'm sure one of these two will have the Focus Sash. So breaking it will also be uh, pretty important. And... Another thing to note is the main uh, the main one that I'm looking to take out first is actually Grimmsnarl, not necessarily Excadrill. I'm not worried about Excadrill because I'm sure he's going to focus down my Grimmsnarl after this turn one. And uh, I don't want this Grimmsnarl because obviously Grimmsnarl like Whimsicott can both be used in plenty of different ways. So it's very... Um, an interesting t scenario when fighting him at the start, so I just want to get rid of him right away. Because, yeah, if, if I swagger my Hitmonlee and then he T-Ways me, that won't be good. Uh, but you know what? I'm just like, let's do it. I D-Max my Hitmonlee, and then I'm going to go for the swagger. Obviously, we got to wait for him. I'm also doing this post-commentary, so pardon me if it's not like handled like really well i haven't done this before i'll try to get better uh so yeah i dmax my him on lee he doesn't dmax at all i get the swagger off luckily it hits obviously he's gonna be confused the lumberry's gonna cure it but i'm like all right this grim snow i'm sure is gonna get a move off before i get my move off he sets up a re reflect i actually have not fought a screens uh grim snow in a while 
But, you know what? Plus two hit Monty. Does not care. Max Knuckle is going to take out that Grim Snarl in one shot. I'm sure it's like specially defense invested, if anything. Uh, so we were able to get rid of him, get some attack boosts on both of us, which is pretty nice. And this uh, Excadrill is going to go for the Iron Head on my Grim Snarl. Not even going to proc the Sash. He's just going to leave it with 2 HP. I mean, it would have lived either way. And I had a feeling he was going to go for Grim Snarl. And we wait to see who he brings out. He brings a Dragapult, so I'm like, all right. I'm going to take out this Dragapult right now, and I really can't do much to the Excadrill, so I am going to Max Darkness this Dragapult, and then I'm going to switch out my Grimmsnarl, because I feel like he will be of use to me later. I, like, think about for a second, hmm, what should I do? But I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go into my Gastrodon right now, just because, you know, he's tanky, and I'm sure Excadrill is going to go for either an Iron Head or, like, a Rock Slide, something, like... He's going to go for something to make sure my Grimstone is dead, and my Gastrodon is, of course, is physically tanky. So he'll be able to handle whatever it is pretty fine. And obviously I didn't want to bring in my Togekiss because Iron Head would have been super effective on it. Granted, I have the Babiri Berry, so I would live. It's just like, you know, I'll save her for later. So I switch out Grimstone, bring in Gastrodon, and I go for the Max Darkness on the... Dragapult again. I no e no speed EVs. Um, when Unburden is activated, Hitmonlee will outspeed uh, Dragapult even if it's like timid nature. So that is really useful. Take out that Excadrill, not Excadrill, that Dragapult right away. He goes with a Rock Slide. I'm guessing just to take out uh, Grimstar as well as do some damage to Hitmonlee, but that switch out came in handy. Barely take anything from it. And his last Pokemon is Gyarados. He doesn't have Intimidate, but I'm like, okay, if he... He's definitely going to just kill my Hemali, and I don't have Togekiss out for a Misdirect, which I feel like I, that honestly should have been the play, low-key. But I was like, this is still fine. Yeah, he's going to Dynamax his Gyarados now. Spoiler alert. And I'm like, alright, with the Reflect up, I'm almost positive that... Um... One Max Knuckled uh, boosted Rockfall won't take out this Gastrodon. And I really don't care if the Excadrill outspeeds me, because my Gastrodon, if he lives his turn, which he should, will take out this Excadrill right now. So I go for the Max Rockfall. It does about 80 to 85%. I was like, ah, yeah, he had to reflect up. He got it. Uh, Sandstorm activates. And Excadrill goes with the Earthquake, which is good, because these guys Gyarados on him. Doesn't do too much. I mean, he does about half to Hitmonlee, a little bit less to Gastro, but the Airstream is going to take out Hitmonlee. Gets a speed boost, but you know, I don't really care for the speed boost right now. Your Gyarados only has about 15% health left, uh, even less because of the Sandstorm that's going to hurt him. And then an Earth Power from my Gastrodon is going to take out your Excadrill. Yeah, you can have the Moxie boost, whatever, whatever, buddy. And yeah, I go for the Earth Power. Of course, it hits, and it takes out Excadrill just cleanly. That's, this is not even like special attack. I'm pretty sure I only have four special attack EVs in this Gastrodon, so it definitely handles Pokemon like Excadrill really well. Uh, I bring in my Togekiss here. I'm like, all right, you are in the red now, and you cannot target both of us. So I am just going to double target you. One of them is going to live and then get some damage off on you and put you, if anything, is going to leave you with a little bit of health. But I'm like, right, he's probably going to go for the Max Overgrowth to take out Gastrodon. So I'm just going to Dazzle and Gleam and Scald, see what happens. But nonetheless, one of them is taking da uh, he's taking damage from someone. Of course, he goes into Gastrodon. He's going to die. That's fine. I get a Dazzle and Gleam off. And he's going to live with a little bit of health once these, you know, animations go. I don't really care about the slight health that he gets back. Because, like I said, this Dazzling, Dazzling Gleam should leave him at, like, 5% or less health. Pretty, like, probably less than that, honestly. And also, like, it actually cancels out the health that he gets back from the Overgrowth because of the Sandstorm. And that Sandstorm is still going to be up for a couple more turns, so it's definitely very useful. And remember my Grimstone? I kept in, kept in handy. Kept in handy. Uh, I easily could have just, like, double-targeted both of our moves on him. And to win, but you know, yeah, I checked to make sure the sandstorm stays up, even though I only used Rockfall like 
the second turn or third turn. I'm actually going to do Fake Out on the Gyarados because I'm like positive that it'll kill. And it does. And of course it goes first because it's priority. And you know what? That is, uh, that is that. Thank you guys for watching. This was pretty new for me to do, so I promise I'll get better at making these as time goes on. Uh, let me know in the comments what Pokemon you feel are not seen much in VGC, but have pretty interesting uses. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.